Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this time I just want to look at the process of cleaning up an image that's particularly horrible. Um, and to start off with I've got an image here that is uh, the stacked final image of uh, the Owl Nebula which I took the other night when there was a very bright full moon and I did it just as a quick test to see what would happen and uh, I only got 48 shots and stacked them in Deep Sky Stacker this morning and this is what came out and as you can see this image is particularly horrible it's got a nasty gradient in it from the full moon uh, circles in it uh, all horrible gunk around the edge here after it was stacked but there's a lot of work to be done to clear it up and after I've done all the work um, the result was this and um, as you can see looking at this image and going back and looking at the original uh, .tiff file that I got after the image was stacked there's a lot of work to be done so let's make a start the first thing that we're going to need to do with this image is to crop it down and get rid of these uh, black areas here which we don't need so off to your crop tool at the top there and just drag that box around there till you've got most of the image that you want that'll do and uh, up to image and crop and that's done next we're going to use uh, the layers tool up here so we go to layers you can see I've got this is my background layer we'll keep that open and we'll also go across here and we'll open up our histogram and we're looking at the colors channel um, so that we've got our red green and blue data there that we can look at while we work and I'm now going to just press control L <coughs> using shortcut keys like that is much quicker than pressing all the other buttons so control L will bring up the level box and we're just going to alter that slightly just going to move the arrow on the far left in towards the edge of the data and the grey arrow in the middle in towards it as well just to brighten it up a little bit and we'll say OK for that next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to curves so I'm going to press Control M and using curves now I'm going to put a little point in the middle there and just below it I'm just going to drag that down and that will darken the image up significantly so I've got a sort of S-shaped curve going on there which is a pretty standard sort of curve and we'll say OK for that now if I just uh, minimise the levels and uh, histogram and um, layers palette there for you you can see what we've got still horrible we've still got horrible gradients in the middle and dust bunnies and dust on the sensor all those things we do not want so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, darken the image a little bit more so that we can select just the stars so again press control L that will bring up your levels just move the black arrow in a little bit more and move the grey arrow out a little bit you, you can fiddle with levels and curves until you've got somewhere about this sort of point and the purpose of doing this is just to brighten these stars up a little bit in the background there <coughs> ok now having done that what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the galaxies the galaxy and the um, Owl Nebula. Here is the galaxy, there's the Owl Nebula. I'm going to separate those out into a separate layer as well as the stars and then I'm going to clear up the background completely so we get rid of all these um, blotchy gradients and dust bunnies and stuff that we don't want. <coughs> so how do you go about that? Well there are lots of ways of getting rid of gradients and I cover a lot of those in my tutorials but sometimes you want to do it quicker so I have uh, downloaded a copy of um, Gradient Exterminator which you can find on the web um, just to evaluate it at the moment. It does a very very good job at getting rid of gradients uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use that. I suggest you download it and give it a go as well. So off we go to Filter which is where it's installed. Uh, 
RC Astro Gradient Exterminator. I'm going to do a course detail and aggressiveness is on high. And I'm going to press OK and just let that get on and do its thing. And you'll see that uh, when it's finished, it actually does quite a, a good job there at just getting rid of, you know, just giving you an overall uh, nice gradient removal. <coughs> but it hasn't done everything and it's not going to in a lot of cases but it does you know it does a pretty good job you could get to this stage using other methods but you know i think for the price of it you, you're probably just as well getting it and doing it like this okay so we've done that but we've still got the dust bunnies we've still got that circle in the middle all the stuff that we don't want but what we have achieved we've got a nice even um, picture here to work with so now we can go about selecting the stars now you can, I've got a tutorial telling you how to select stars. By all means, use that. I'm going to be a bit quicker here now. I've got an action set up in the Photoshop actions, which will do that uh, very quickly. So I'm just going to do that now. Windows actions, and uh, I'm just going to press my action, and that will quickly do basically what is in the tutorials anyway um, on selecting stars, so that I can move a bit faster here. After I've selected them, I'm going to go to uh, Select, Modify, and Expand, and I'm going to expand the selection by 4 pixels. Then I'm going to do the same again, Select, Modify, and Feather, and I'm going to feather that selection by 2 pixels. Now this is purely to select all the stars and get a star layer ready so <coughs> we're not finished yet the next thing I'd like to do is there's a bit of color in those stars so I want to uh, boost the saturation to bring that color, color up so we go to image adjustment uh, hue and saturation and under saturation I'm just going to bring that up to about 70% and that will just boost the color inside and around the edges of the stars I'm going to say OK to that and then I'm going to go up to select again and I'm going to use the refine edge tool and I'm going to feather it 